Hello Internet, 60X Self. I was gone this last weekend that kind of murdered any chance I had of recording a new video. I was on a trip to New York City. It's not my first time there, I've only been a few times, but I've been there before. But I want to share a story with you from this last trip. It's a story that made me very happy, and I just think it would be fun to share. And this might be a little bit rambly, I usually have more of an idea of what I want to talk about when I start the camera rolling. Mostly I just wanted to get some stuff out. So we're riding on the subway, like you do in New York City, and I was very fortunate to have a seat. And I'm sitting, I'm talking with my family that I'm visiting, and another family gets on the train clearly looking for seats. It's two women and a kid. I see that they're looking for seats, so I offer them my seat because that's just what I do. Kid sits and the kid is super grateful. Says thank you twice while we're on the train. Says thank you again when we're getting off the train. It just so happens we're heading the same direction and one of the women turns around and says, hey, he was really grateful. He would like to talk to you. And I thought, sure, let's do this. So the rest of my group breaks off. I'm going to catch up with them and I just kind of walk with these people. And I'm talking with this kid. He's all smiles. And I'm asking him what he's into. And the first thing he says is the NBA. And I have to break his poor little heart. I know nothing about sports. But it comes out that he also likes music. So we start talking about his favorite artist, Michael Jackson. And he's talking about how much he wants to dance like Michael. And he's looking at classes. And he used to take classes. And he want, stands up on his toes all the time. Does all the moves in his bedroom. And it's just the most adorable thing. It's fantastic. So I'm talking to this kid and I'm realizing the impact that we have on people. And it was just this very nice, this nice moment of connection. There's this stranger on the train, played by me in this instance, just being supportive of someone he's never going to see again and only met by complete happenstance. I feel like it served as a good reminder for me. I struggle a lot with being very negative. I find it difficult to see the world as anything other than a festering boil some days. I'm a wee bit cynical about people. But that little bit, who knows where that will go for that kid. But it was a really good moment and it felt good. I think there were a lot of factors. I can be charming when I want to be. And he was a child. There were also some cultural differences. It seemed like a family that maybe moved to America. But I was really struck by it, just how grateful this kid was. And there was something that my brother-in-law's wife? Does that make her my sister-in-law? What does that make her to me? Anna made a point of pointing out that this is not how things operate in the city. I guess she was concerned that I was going to think it was a friendly city. But she wanted me to know that most of the people stick to themselves and that that is not a thing that usually happens. Which also, I think, may be another contributing factor. Here's a kid who normally is ignored by people on the subway. There was a moment earlier in the day where the group of us was out again, this time with my infant, and we're on the subway. My partner is clearly struggling. None of the people around us offered their seat, which is fine. We got through, we got by. But that's likely a thing that that kid gets every day. He just has to hope that there's a seat on the train. I don't know what sort of point I'm trying to get to here other than it's important to remember that positivity goes a long way. Just doing that one nice thing, that one nice little thing for somebody can be so impactful. Even if it seems like nothing, right? I just gave my seat on the train to a tired kid. It was like 10.30 at night who wanted a rest. That's all it was. But then it led to this moment that was a reminder to be positive. Try to do the kind thing for a person. Because you never know what kind of impact it might have. That kid might go on to be the next Michael Jackson. Who knows? If he does, though, I really hope he remembers the guy on the train and tries to, like, look me up. So anyway, again, I'm kind of rambling on. I just wanted to share that story and share the impact that it had on me and I think the impact that it had on that kid. I'm working on some things, so don't worry. It's not going to just turn into me talking into camera on a couch. But I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're having a good life. And remember to be positive. Bye, Internet.